Hey Virgo, how's it going? I hope you're all having a great week. This is going to be a timeless love reading. So take what resonates, never force it to fit. I'm going to make it as personal as possible. But truth be told, it's not going to completely resonate for each and every one of you. It's not a personal reading. Alright guys, so as I had mentioned before, I'm giving away two free personal readings. Those two people that are randomly chosen at the end of the month will be able to tell me what they would like their reading to be centered around. All you need to do is be a subscriber. So go ahead and do that. I'm grateful you're here. Um, not only by being a subscriber will you get notifications of the readings that I post, but also you'll be able to take part in the monthly giveaways, which most of the time are free personal readings, but sometimes they're even monetary gift cards. All right just my way of giving back and I need you to leave a money emoji in the comments section of each reading that you view of mine during the month of July that's your way of telling me that you're interested and then at the end of the month I'll remind you to check your notifications because two people will be hearing from me all right Virgos what are coming towards my Virgos my other half is a Virgo, so I'm always eager to do soul connection. And see how that's a rainbow? So for some of you, that could resonate because that's what you resonate with, the same sex. Take it how it resonates, but there is that rainbow there, so I definitely feel for some of you that is a big distinction. Sharing a soul connection with someone. For some of you, you already know who this soul connection is and you will be asked out you will be receiving communication somebody wants a romantic night with you or death but you're definitely getting an offer an animal spirit pay attention to the signs and the synchronicities that are around you there are a lot of um, birds, even fur balls that you may see, rabbit, very spiritual, um, butterflies, obviously very spiritual, birds, feathers, very spiritual, but pay attention to the synchronicities. It says signs of birds sending you important messages, luck, abundance, and prosperity are on the way. N not only is green, obviously the money, uh, the color of money, but it's also the heart chakra. Healing the heart chakra and allowing your heart to be open for this to come in. All right, let's get into it. spirit past present and future energy for my Virgos so in the past energy there's the two of wands making a plan to move forward um, making decisions based on your future what you truly want for your future what type of person you want maybe somebody specific you had big decisions to make in terms of moving on, moving forward. I feel in the present energy there is heartbreak. Three of Swords. You could have been dealing with someone that, you know, where there was a third party here. You could have met somebody at a time where, you know, you or this person had a, an extra energy around you. Specifically, maybe they were dating someone else or you were. But there is emotional heartbreak here. And what's the future energy spirit? The Eight of Wands. Like I said, there is communication coming in. I feel like you definitely want to move past this heartbreak. For those of you that it's not a soulmate that you're experiencing this heartbreak with, 
then I do feel a soulmate connection is on their way to you. Yeah, I feel like in the past somebody was very deceptive, very hurtful, not completely open with you. I feel like the connection forced you to try to move forward. It has you feeling stuck and in your head. A lot of drama that you dealt with that you didn't want to put yourself in that situation. But I do feel somebody is watching you from afar. And look, right under the Three of Swords is the Page of Swords and the Five of Swords. Somebody definitely wants to make an amends. See how they're watching from afar? Feeling very defeated. Very down on themselves about how they treated you. The things that have taken place. I gotta say, Seven of Swords is here, Eight of Swords, and the Five of Swords, Three of Swords. This was definitely a weighed down connection. Experiencing a lot of stress and anxiety. I don't feel either one of you felt emotionally content in this connection. But I do feel like they're coming in very quickly to communicate with you. I have air energy here strongly. Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. And then I also have fire energy here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. But I feel after this break or this separation between you and this person, it gave this person time to, and you, time to heal. Time to just focus on yourselves as individuals. And I really feel like this person wants to come through. I feel like they want an equal give and take with you. The, the, it even if could have been a distance, a physical distance, like some traveling that needed to be, happen to, to meet up, to be together. Maybe that time, that distance between the two of you really put a burden on both of you. But I truly feel this person is coming towards you with communication. But I also feel for some of you they might even give you a gift. But I feel like they definitely want an equal give and take with you. All right, Spirit. Please clarify Virgo's reading. Please clarify Virgo's reading. Yes, yeah, see, there's the offer. They want this reunion with you. They view you as being very nurturing and very grounded. They view you as having a huge heart. And they're going to come towards you. I feel like they're finally realizing that what you displayed to them was true love. And they held back. I feel that they stayed with the Seven of Swords here and the Four of Pentacles. It's like they stayed in very, very control of their emotions. It's like they held them back and to themselves. For some reason, they feared opening completely up to you. And like I said, for some of you, you dealt with someone who had a third energy around them. Or you may have met this person when you were dealing with someone else. I truly feel you didn't expect to meet this person. Obviously, it was a tower moment. But you truly view this person as the one you want to be with. And like I said, in the separation between the two of you, they're realizing that you're who they want to be with. We got Mars and Venus here. Archangel Shamuel is over the heart chakra, is over love and relationships. So we, like I said, we have fire energy here. And actually we have water energy here too with the Ace of Cups. So fire, water, and strong air. They were not expecting this, Virgo. At a time you walked into their life. I 
I feel like they had they saw their their future going a different way and didn't anticipate what they felt for you. What else can you give me, Spirit, to clarify? Virgo's energy. Virgo's reading. Look at that, the epiphany. Like I said, in that Four of Swords energy is where you allow yourself and this person separate time away to work on yourself, to get grounded, to get out of your mind space. Um, but also to receive amazing messages and synchronicities from our spirit guides and the universe. And there's that epiphany, that light bulb that's going off, that breakthrough of what they want with you. And remember, didn't I say the heart chakra reminded me of the green? Both of you open to receive this amazing blessing. Anything else, spirit? For my Virgos. Okay, thank you. Feminine energy. Like I said, this person views you as very nurturing. And very compassionate. And very heart-centered. And I feel that your energy towards them is something that they've never experienced before. For some, it was very overwhelming. They just didn't know how to respond to this type of energy you were giving them. But for others, I truly feel you made such an impact on them and they had to make a choice between you and this extra energy that was around them. And like I said, nobody was like you. That's where that epiphany is. You made them feel things that they weren't aware that they could. They weren't allowing themselves to feel. M R I O E A N T D G and you. So we have every vowel. Always let me know how it resonates, Virgo. Leave that money emoji down below, letting me know you're interested. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, and if you're interested in a personal reading, I just restocked my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box. I have mentioned this earlier. My um, shop will be going on vacation mode on the 16th. I just want to spend some time re-energizing myself. Um, I will be caught up on personal readings before I even go on vacation. I will continue to do the YouTube readings as I'm on vacation. But I just need a break and some time to focus on me and my niece and my other half. So, yeah. So you have until the 16th to get a personal reading in if you would like. And then I am sending you so much love and light, Virgo.